All right, Mike, we're doing your favorite thing today, plumbing. Plumbing, yeah. Obviously, in our previous video, we cut all the stuff out. So now we're going to be melting the hub out and I'll show you how to melt a lead and oakum hub out and make a tie-in into that. So it's good knowledge to know. I got my safety glasses here. I got my acetylene tank with the turbo torch on it. I got a screwdriver to, to pick the lead out. When you do a horizontal, obviously the lead is going to fall out on the floor. But when you do a vertical, lead's just going to sit in there because there's oakum from letting it go down. So you got to kind of kick it out as you're melting it. You know, you gotta brush it out. So you can use a flathead cleaning brush. Now, if the lead is dirty, like you're in a trench or something, you gotta use a cleaning brush. You gotta clean that dirt off. It else, the lead, for some reason, doesn't melt as well. It takes forever. But we're not in a trench, it's above ground. One thing I will say, if you're on a vertical piece like this, I'm not too concerned because if it, anything drops down into the pipe, I can just reach my hand in and grab it out. But if, let's say we're on the second floor, you know, on the first floor, and we're melting a hub out from there. I'm not going to be able to reach down and grab it. You got to put a big rag in down there to stop anything from dropping down. I've done it where I've taken the cast, time, cast iron out and the lead still hot and liquidy. And I pulled the cast iron out and the lead dropped down into the pipe. And I was like, oh crap. And I had to fix it. But basically all you do, you just take the, the torch to it and you melt it out. If you want, you can wear a mask. I just wear glasses because lead... Especially if there's water around, if, if water hits hot lead, it, it kind of like pops, it explodes kind of. All right, so we got all of our lead nice and loose right now. Most of it out. We're gonna start trying to loosen this piece up. So you see, starting to loose up. We didn't get all of our lead out because obviously it's a little bit tougher on a vertical piece, but you want to get this piece nice and loose. And normally, I would let the, the lead cool down a little bit so it doesn't fall out on the bottom, but I don't care about the bottom because it's just right there. I'll get it out later. But get this bad boy nice and loose. Take a pair of channel locks and wiggle it out. So you'll see all the stuff will drop down. And that's why you, it's important to put a rag down it if you're higher up. Your oakum will be on fire for 20 minutes. Another thing is, if you what, want to, what is oakum? It's like horse's hair and oil or whatever. See how it's still like kind of on fire there. Another thing is if you're nervous about a flame or anything, if you're in a tight spot, get a fire extinguisher and maybe a spray bottle, wet the area before you do it or whatever. Another way you can do this is you can take a bunch of drill bits, drill out the lead around the hub and then slowly work the lead out. Once you get the lead out, you can shake the piece and um, get it out. But this is the easiest way to do it. We'll let that cool down for a little bit. We'll take our flathead you gotta clean up inside the fitting. You see there's still a bunch of junk there. Get it all nice and cleaned out. We'll, we'll start melting this one out as we let this cool down a little bit because we gotta do both of them. So, but if I, I didn't feel like waiting, I could take a water bottle and cool down the area. This is extremely hot right now. And what is in this tank again? It's acetylene. It's um, half, I forget what it is, half propane and, propane and half matte, matte gas or something. And you were probably just running that torch for I don't know, five, 10 minutes. How how long will this tank last you normally? That tank lasts a long time, but if you're like a regular homeowner is doing this, you just get one of them little map gas tanks, like those little blue or yellow tanks with the with the tip on it. You can do it with that, it just, it might take a little bit longer. This is like a turbo version. Right, that, it's a little so. bit higher output, I guess. Yeah, it's just quicker. We'll start melting this next one out. Other, another thing is, if you want to, you get hearing protection. This, this stuff's yeah, pretty, pretty loud. loud. So. All right, we got our hubs all nice and clean. I melted them out. I took a flathead after I melted them out and cleaned up all the schmutz inside, all the old oakum, and got them nice and clean with the flathead just, you know, jabbing it off and getting it, you know, you don't want to get it perfect, but you want to get it nice and clean surface for the most part. You can take a cleaning brush if you want inside as well and try to scrape some of the stuff off. Now we're going to go from cast iron to PVC. There's several different ways you can do this. 